Good morning. Welcome back. We have Alex Spicer with us from National Hospital. She's a registered dietitian, and if you're an employee with the hospital, you're lucky because you get to see her. <laughs> That's right. And you know, nutritionist is a very important job because we none of us eat right, but it's so important to our overall health. Mm -hmm. You know, the yeah. way we eat. So, um, talk to us a little bit about how we should eat we'll just let you talk <laughs> um, well it, nutrition is really individualized so um, <laughs> it, it really there's no set diet for everyone mm -hmm. right um, the best way to go about it is to um, try to have more of a general healthy diet try to include all the different food groups in your diet um, and then just set small goals for yourself as well. Um, I think when we try to overhaul our diets, that's when we get really frustrated and right. tend to quit. Mm -hmm. What's a good um, meal? Three. What would you suggest for somebody to eat during the day? I always like mm -hmm. to ask people because you get such different, you know, mm -hmm. uh, levels. Oh, yeah. What would you, yeah. what do you eat? Let's do that. What do I eat? Well, <laughs> what I eat is not going to be the same for what I, other right. people eat. <laughs> See, um, that's what every dietitian <laughs> <know>. says. <laughs> um, so. What I do is I usually eat about four or five times a day. I have three meals and maybe two snacks. Well, they um, say eat small meals. Mm -hmm. Small mm -hmm. meals, but often, yeah. you know, three or four times a day. What do you think about the fasting? Um, well, the fasting is, uh, it seems to be a very successful way to lose weight for most people. Um, but I but think is it good for your body? <laughs> um, it sometimes can be. It depends. There's a little bit of research out there, but we're still not quite sure what the um, overall effects are mm -hmm. of fasting. I know that um, the general reason why it works for most people as far as weight loss is concerned is because um, you're not eating as many calories throughout the day because mm -hmm. um, you're not eating. So fasting isn't going to work for you if you eat in one meal all those calories that right. you yes. uh -huh. Exactly. So uh -huh. you still have to be conscious of how much, how many calories you're eating throughout mm -hmm. the day. Uh -huh. You just don't need to eat big meals. You know, a lot of people, and, and what, you know, they say don't eat late at night. Mm -hmm. you know, I you feel better eat. when I don't eat late. Do you? Oh, I, I don't like to eat late. Mm -hmm. It don't make me feel good mm -hmm. at all. What yeah. do you think about eating late? Um, well, again, it depends on the person. Um, <laughs> you so are the a dietitian. I am. <laughs> so the, the timing of your eating, um, unless it really makes you feel bad before you go to sleep, that's the only reason why you wouldn't want to eat late. Um, mm -hmm. But timing doesn't really have anything to do with you know the amount of calories that you're um, burning oh. and things like that. Mm -hmm. We still use calories when we're sleeping, so um, the time of day is not really you know something that you want to worry mm -hmm. quite as much about unless you have issues. Digesting. So right. that myth that you hear about you're going to gain weight if you eat late. It's right. not this. It's what you eat when you're eating late. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That's what I usually mm -hmm. tell people to think about what a typical midnight right. snack looks like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And nine o'clock at night, do not eat a sixteen ounce <laughs> steak. Okay. Yeah. That probably I mean, wouldn't really. be very good. <laughs> no, that would not make you feel very good at all. Do you eat, uh, or do you suggest for your dietitians either way to uh, your dietitians your um, uh, con clients mm -hmm. uh, to eat red meat? Um, I suggest a moderate amount of red meat. Mm -hmm. So the recommendation is to have no more than eight ounces per week of mm -hmm. red meats. That includes beef and pork um, oh. for heart health and also because there is an association with um, certain cancers. So pork is considered a red meat? Yes, it is. <laughs> wow. So now now talk, talk back about it with uh, an association with some cancers. Mm -hmm. So are, have, you found, have you read that studies show that people that eat more red meat? Mm-hmm. Yes, so um, there have been studies that have shown that um, there's a correlation between high amounts of red meat in your diet and um, colorectal cancer. Mm. So, you know, a correlation is something that we want to look at very carefully. Um, and it's just really important to make sure that you're having a well-balanced diet. Mm -hmm. So you're not eating right. red meat for every meal every single day of the week. You like right. red meat? Once in a while. I like it once in a while. You know, I, I don't care if I have meat very often. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not a meat but you know i like it once in a while mm -hmm. i'm a chicken person you're a chicken i and love fish. chicken and fish mm -hmm. yeah uh, well which is i'm lucky because mm -hmm. that's what yeah the recommend exactly so yeah. anyway so you will drink water no mm -hmm. soft drinks 
So um, the water recommendations, again, is very different for each person. So, well, let's say if somebody weighs 160 pounds, mm -hmm. how much water should they be drinking a day? The recommendation is about um, half of your body weight in ounces. Half of your body weight in ounces. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that's not that. I have to do some math. It's not as much as you <laughs> think. It, it really isn't. Yeah. Uh-huh. And I had a doctor tell me one time that if you wanted to lose weight, you, uh, you increase that amount. You take that. It's a certain mm -hmm. number. Have you heard that right. before? I'm sure mm -hmm. you have. I don't know if I've heard that before. If you want to lose weight, you increase you it increase by a certain your, number. You, uh -huh, okay. you increase, but sometimes can you can't help. drink but so much yes, water. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. exactly. Well, you know, I try to do the 64 ounces, mm -hmm. um, which is not hard if you get a big cup. Right. You're if you exactly go ahead and right. get a 20 ounce cup, yep. mm -hmm. you say, well, golly, you know, I'm going to drink. And another thing I recommend is for folks to go ahead and drink a glass of water when you get up. Yeah. That, yeah, that much is way. over with. Mm -hmm. That's over with. Mm -hmm. You've if already you have a and, and start your day that way with mm -hmm. water. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, that's a great strategy. So, so you um, recommend fruits, vegetables. Mm -hmm. So um, having all five of the food groups in your diet, so that's fruits, vegetables, grains, um, lean protein, and dairy. Well, tell us what you ate yesterday. <laughs> I can't even remember what I ate <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> or, um, or what a good, what a good balanced meal might be for somebody because that's what, what about you, breakfast mm -hmm. yeah what do you start with for breakfast what do you eat um well I like to keep it simple um, because when I wake up I'm not super hungry so uh -huh. just something like a piece of toast with mm -hmm. some peanut butter or something maybe a piece of fruit that some granola and a banana yeah that kind of thing um, but some people maybe require more so you know an egg and bacon maybe. eggs toast <laughs> don't go and get a sausage egg and cheese biscuit every morning on your way to work Please. I wouldn't recommend that um, mm -hmm. but you know keep it simple and try to incorporate at least three different food groups mm -hmm. in your meal so right. um, that way you can kind of keep a variety in your diet right mm -hmm. do you eat fast food Every once in a while I do. Um, sometimes it's just not, you know, unavoidable. Well, uh -huh. I just believe anything in moderation mm -hmm. is okay. Yeah. You know, you just can't overdo it. So, um, well, if but, you just eat a little bit each day, that's mm -hmm. moderation. Well, they say, that's right. <laughs> they say you are what you eat. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and I can, I can see that. Well, then my family looks yeah. like slices of pepperoni pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Because that's their favorite meal. <laughs> do you eat pizza? I do like pizza a lot. Uh -huh. I, I like to have it every once in a while. And there's a new take on pizza where people are flattening a chicken breast. Have you mm. seen this? No. Mm. They're, I mean, pounding mm. out a chicken breast, cooking the chicken breast, adding uh, marinara sauce, so that's the crust. Yes. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, I've seen a cauliflower crust. Yeah, mm -hmm. I haven't tried that. Yeah. I don't know how that would. I like cauliflower, so I don't know. It's. I think I it depends on how it's made, but I've heard that's really good. I haven't tried it myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. <laughs> all these things. Think about when you're eating. Just think about, mm -hmm. you know, what you're doing. How many times have I had red meat this week? Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. Um, just There's an app for everything now. It is. There it is. is. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. well, we thank you for being on. I think well, Baja you. is here. Um, and we're going to talk about exercising and how important, if you do eat the wrong thing, you better do something to get rid of it, to get it <laughs> off, to get these LBs off. So, um, anyway, we thank you for being on. Well, Alex. thank you for having me. Absolutely. We're going to take a quick break and we will get Baja on with us. <laughs> 